Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Wonderful Romance and this is also going to be retired and I'm going to use the main image and the big leaf here and the little flower and the dots. I'm also using very vintage and I'm going to be using this image and the word happy birthday. To make this card I have got a very vanilla thick card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half and two pieces of very vanilla thin or the normal very vanilla at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths one for inside and one for the top. I didn't do anything inside. And I've also got a thin half inch strip, yeah, of very vanilla, and that's for the sentiment. I've also got a scrap of white here for the flowers, which I'll keep. Now I have already stamped, cut, and coloured the flowers and everything. But I will do another one for you, because I'm sure I'll use it in another card. Right, um, so I've got my image here with a bit of fluff on it, already mounted. So we're just going to ink it up in Memento Tuxedo Black. I'm using this a lot now on when I'm going to colour in images. Right, there's one image, and then oh, and I've got the leaves. So leaf, leaves. That's what they're called. Oh no, I don't need the leaves. Sorry, wrong card. I'm not using the leaves. It's the flower. That's what I need. I've got... I used five on my last one. I'll just do three there. Right, I'll leave that to dry. And what we'll do is work on the background of this because on here I don't know if you'll be able to see just underneath I've stamped the very vintage image in crumb cake so we're going to do that again <coughs> I need a piece of scrap Good. we're going to stamp off so very vintage very vintage crumb cake so I'm going to stamp off and then I want to stamp one up there on there oh I never stamped off on there and one there. So it's just like that. As Tommy Cooper would say. And then with Blushing Bride and the dots we are just going to put dots all around the outside and some inside this image and I'm just turning the paper rather than turning the stamp Oh, 
and now I'm going to stick some in the middle in case you see them through the flowers right I think that'll do she keeps putting more down and that's what we'll pick that up afterwards and that's our background put that to one side and bring this back and let's get some pens right I used old olive Hold on for the big leaves. Hope you're all keeping well and safe. Obviously when I film this, it's still April. And it'll be the beginning of May when you see this. Weather will be free in the UK. To go back normal business by the time you see this will be seen, will have to be seen. I'm doing in old olive and then the smaller ones I'm doing in mossy meadow oh wrong end mossy meadow light them all. Very well shot and you've missed one. Just half the leaf here. That's it. Right. On this one, 
I did the flowers purple and the buds pink. Well, on this this one, the new one, I'm doing the flowers pink and the little buds purple. Change nips. So these three flowers are pink. And the little flowers are stamped are also pink. Highland Heather light for these tiny buds. And these flowers, the little bud ones. What else have we got left to do? I know. Right, the soft suede light. I'm going to do the stems. And there we have it. And then you would cut that out using the dice, which I never cleaned. I shall clean that later. Thought there was a little die missing. There you are. So that's what I did. I cut them out using that die, and of course I did two. I have two there, and a lot of little ones. So I'll use that late at another time, later date. And these we're going to put on the card. Like. That way, I'm going to turn that up a bit more. That way, yeah, like that. And then these little flowers, we'll just stick them on top of the other ones. So let's get some dimensionals on here 
Right, um, so this one only needs to be that end. So, and then this one going that way, and that over the top like that. So it's only this top half. Like that. And we need some little ones. And I don't think I've got any. Oh, I have. Let's see where I could fit one. So, yeah, so take these off. And we're going to start. I'm going to put that one there. There. And this one I'm going to place there. So I need to put some glue. On the top flowers. I need a little bit of dimensional to put under the stem at the bottom. Let's see if I can do this. There, there we are. Now, I am just going to randomly I think my glue's sticking stick some of these little flowers on here One more. Where are they? Yeah. I think that would do. We'll put that one on. And then what we need to do is stick this to here. And the glue's running out. Um, what we've got to do? Oh, the sentiment. Right, with my one inch strip, and I'm going to use a gorgeous grape. 
as I want it to be a darker purple. And my happy birthday sign, sign stamp. And I'm going to stamp that hopefully straight and in the middle. Yes. And cut that on. And that we're going to sit just there. So we need to put a bit of dimension there. So I'm going to cut some more. Where did I cut that other one? This one. Not too long. Just a tad. Do bit of glue on it. Now, I want to line that up with the edge of the card, and I want it to be straight. That's it. Right, on this one I put a load of gold gems on the flowers. I'm not going to do that with this one. With this one I'm just going to colour them in. Uh, using... I think this is Mango Melody. It is. So I'm just colouring in the centres of the flowers. Where we can see them. Yeah, like that. And then I will just put gems on the outside. And I think I put five, I did. So, with my glue, I'm going to place five spots of glue. And then stick a gem on top. I wonder if I can pick them up. Right, that's our card finished. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.